Hey buddy, it's 54 Newster, and this is going to be a quick update tutorial to our um, menu system this time. What you do is that you have like a, you know, you have your play button on the stuff. You have your standard camera, then you have an animated camera that will send you through a scene to a character. Now the character supposedly is supposed to like talk you into, you know, who you are, who you're going to be playing as, or a story he's going to tell, and you're basically going to play him in the story. And then you fade to a new scene and then you switch to scene two. And you get to, um, yeah, the second scene with the box in it. So I'm going to show you what's going to be like real quick. So my settings are uh, 1024 by 720 Direct X or Direct 3D9, 32-bit ver vertical synchronization and anti-aliasing. And let's hit play. So we have our basic menu. Um, I'm gonna add some stuff like some uh, candles and all that stuff, flames, monsters, and all that stuff. So we're gonna hit play. And it's gonna switch to the new camera the other camera and then the door is going to open we're going to see the character and then it's going to fade and here we are with our new scene and we're just kind of like stuck in the middle of it so okay so let's get to the coding of it so basically it's exactly like with my key um, thing exactly with that but what I did this time was that I added in two cameras. So, yeah, basically have a basic camera that you want for basically your menu. So it won't move or anything like that. And then add in a HUD. So basically right click, insert, 2D overlay, like right here. And then what you want to do is go to attributes and then add in an image for your button behaviors when clicked on this do something actions three set or change a variable the variable is locked so when we click on it it now adds uh, to the variable remember in our last tutorial um, if you haven't seen it go watch the um, variable unlocked door or locked doors it should be the previous video so what happens is now the doors unlocked okay before when we were in regular menu, it's going to be zero, but when we click play, it's going to add one to lock before it was zero. Or it's going to set it to one. Um, that way the door is unlocked, and when the camera passes or gets near it, it will then open up the door for it. Kind of like a little animated scene. Uh, delete a scene node to the overlay, this. So you're going to go click the plus sign, go to special, or not special, but games and sounds, and delete a scene node. Change active camera to camera 1. And camera 1 is actually the animated camera. So what you want to do is go to then scene editing and add a scene, create a scene path and make sure that it's somewhat straight. It goes straight to the door to the character that's going to tell you the story. Um, and then what's going to happen is you actually want to uh, click on it, click on the camera and say follow a path. So click on the plus, follow a path. It's going to say, okay, follow a uh, path to follow, path one, need time uh, 10,000 milliseconds, which I believe is like 100 seconds or something like that, or 10 seconds. Yeah, I think it's 10 seconds. When in reach, stop and do action. Do something. Do something later. Uh, time at milliseconds. Um, that would be a thousand milliseconds. Fade. Okay, so we're going to say action to do. Fade to the whole screen. Time to fade, 500. So I guess 500 milliseconds. Fade to black. Fade out. Action when finished, switch to, switch to scene two. Okay, so that's going to be end, end of that. And then we're going to be ending up in here. So that's when we get something. 
Um, also with the door, it's, it's very basic on the door. It, it's basically uh, with behavior on proximity, on distance, and on the current uh, active camera, enters radius, actions. If a variable, ha um, if a variable has a value, do something. If it's locked, if it's equal to zero, you know, uh, basically don't do anything. And if it is locked is equal to one, change the position of the door to a new, you know, a new area so it looks like it's opening. So that's when we get something like this. So we have play. We click play. Once we click play, the door is now set to variable one. And when the camera goes near it, that means, oh, okay, I'm checking. It's not variable zero, which means locked. It's variable one, which means unlocked. So I hit play. We're set to the new camera. Door is unlocked. And then the character talks. Basically, he's going to blah, blah, blah. We'll switch to the new scene. So go to the... Okay. Oops. Uh, camera one. No, camera one. Camera two active. When hit play, click do something. Actions three. Uh, change active camera. Delete scene known. Uh, set camera variable. So that's how you do it, guys. Uh, again, we'll be continuing on with this mi little mini series. I decided to do it this way because it does work a little bit better. Doing these little mini episodes with new uh, a new scene almost every single episode. Um, and then the next scene, I'll be introducing in sounds and how to put a sound in. So basically, a door opening, uh, click sounds a character playing and telling you a story then you'll be switching to the new scene where you'll be uh where we'll either be in first person or third person or have the ability to switch between the two and play inside a little uh a, a little town game scene town and then hunt some monsters and all that stuff so again guys if you'd like to support the uh, series and support the channel hit the like button subscribe button only if you want to and remember guys I do this for fun and it's epic and I hope you learned something from this because it's really cool and the engine really needs to be looked at and again there's also forums I put the link to the website down below and if you have any questions there's also my email down below so you can message me overnight and I'll get to you probably next morning because I'm really fast with that and, um, yeah, I'll be putting up other tutorials really quick, so thumbs up, guys. See you later.